On behalf of the Washburn University Board of Regents, as well as Washburn and Washburn Tech faculty, administration, and staff, I welcome you to this commencement for the Washburn University Institute of Technology. Please join me in welcoming Rachel Louise Taylor, who will sing the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rugged regular the bones bursting in air still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. You may be seated. Please join me in expressing thanks to Mrs. Norma Pettijohn, organist, for providing our music tonight. <laughs> to the graduates, congratulations. To the friends and families, thank you for your enduring support. And to the faculty, thank you for the time and effort you constantly give to create an exceptional educational experience at Washburn. I would like to introduce the platform party. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all are introduced. Mr. Mark Wilson, Associate Dean of Student Services, Washburn University Institute of Technology. Ms. Cynthia Holthaus, Special Assistant to the President. Mr. Jim Martin, Vice President for Administration and Treasurer, Dr. Clayton Tatro, Associate Dean, Instruction, Washburn University Institute of Technology, Mr. Mike Mustaine, President, Washburn University Alumni Association Board of Directors, Ms. Sherry Glover, Technical Instructor, Practical Nursing Program at Washburn Tech and Grand Marshal, Dr. Eric Grosfitch, Vice President for Student Life, Washburn University, Dr. Richard Lidke, Executive Director, Enrollment Management, Dr. Pam Foster, Equal Opportunity Director, Dr. Stephen King, Assistant Dean, Instruction, Washburn University Institute of Technology, Dr. Pat Munzer, Dean, School of Applied Studies, Dr. David Sollers, Dean, School of Business, Dr. Laura Stevenson, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. Mr. Brent Bowles, Board of Regents. Mr. Clark Coco, Dean, Washburn University Institute of Technology. The Honorable Larry Wolgast, Mayor of Topeka and Board of Regents. Mrs. Blanche Parks, Board of Regents. Mr. William Sneed, Board of Regents. Mr. Paul Hofer, Vice Chair, Board of Regents. Mr. John McGivern, Chair, Board of Regents, and Dr. Jerry Farley, Washburn President. Please be seated. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Dean of Washburn Tech, Clark Coco. Well, good evening. Thank you, Dr. Mazuchek. 
I am Clark Coco. I have the privilege of serving and serving as the dean at Washburn University Institute of Technology. On behalf of Washburn University, the Board of Trustees, Washburn Administration, Washburn Tech faculty, staff, and administration, I too would like to personally thank you and welcome you along with our graduates, family, and friends for this very, very special event. At this time, I would like to take this opportunity to recognize a very, very special group of people. In all the two-year institutions in the state of Kansas, these people have a tremendous effect. Washburn Institute of Technology leads the state in graduation percentages. It leads the state in placement. This group of people that I would like to ask to stand are very, very instrumental in that. The faculty and staff who instruct and support these students and the students in our second graduation tonight are the ones that make this happen. If you are a part of the faculty and staff of Washburn Institute of Technology, would you please stand? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all you do for our students and families. In the north hallway of our conference center, there are three words. Those three words are imagine, inspire, and transform. Those are our students. Students, when they come to Washburn Tech and they enter those hallways, they imagine what it would be like to be in a program, a program of their passion, a program that they can see themselves in a career. They complete that program as they become, and they become inspired as they complete that program. They imagine, they become inspired. And as of tonight, you will see that they are now transformed. Tagline, Washburn Tech, imagine, inspire, transform. At this time, it also gives me pleasure to introduce stu uh, student members of our National Technical Honor Society. To be a member of the Honor Society that takes leadership inside and outside the classroom, you have to have excellent attendance, grades of only A's and B's, good citizenship, and support of your faculty and staff. In December graduation, we uh, inaugurated 20 students into the National Technical Honor Society. Last week, we added another 61. Since 1990, we have had a total of 796 students from Washburn Institute of Technology uh, be honored as introduct inductees into the National Technical Honor Society. If you are a member of National Technical Honor Society, would you please stand? Thank you, great job. Each year in the spring, students from all across the state of Kansas participate in Skills USA. Skills USA is very simply this. It's competing against each other with business and industry partnerships and business and industry standards and testing. As part of an organization, national organization, Washburn Tech sponsors a very large number of students in Skills USA. This past year in Skills USA, the students at Washburn Tech earned 89 medals, the most medals earned by any institution in the state of Kansas. Of those medals, 44 of those medals were gold medals. Those contestants, those winners, will go on to national competition in Louisville in late June. 44 golds, 26 silvers, and 19 bronze. If you are a medal recipient of Skills USA, would you please stand? Thank you. I'd also like to honor, with our two graduations, I'll mention this, that Mr. John Lemon, cabinet and mill instructor for Washburn Tech, was honored as the advisor of the year. Joshua Wilhelm, auto service technician, uh, was the winner of the E.J. Bach scholarship recipient, and Kendra, Kendra uh, Gatera, Get, Getzenmeyer was SkillsUSA scholarship recipient. Congratulations to all students, congratulations to Mr. Lemon. Another organization that is very prominent and very important to our campus is student government. 
If you are a student government a member, would you please rise? Okay. <laughs> student government at Washburn Tech has been extremely active this year, holding veteran ceremony recognition uh, uh, um, conferences. Washburn Tech values the veterans and the families. We created uh, floats, for, floats for parades in the Washburn homecoming and also parades within the city of Topeka. We organized the Turkey Bowl. All right, that's our Super Bowl right before Thanksgiving. All right, we sponsored Toys for Tots, giving over a thousand different Toys for Tots activities and, and, and toys to be given away to needy folks in this community. We participated in the Winter Wonderland we uh, bus students to uh, collective um, donation activities, and we provide entertainment through the car show. Student uh, government membership, thank you for all you do. The last group that I'd like to mention is this. It's a very special group of students. These students serve their country in honor, and we are pleased to recognize them as part of the Washburn Tech family. If you are a military veteran, would you please rise? Thank you. At this time, I'd like to ask Dr. Tatro, Associate Dean of Instruction, to come forward. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce students who were selected by faculty and staff to represent Washburn Tech as the outstanding students for the 2016-2017 academic year. These students will receive a certificate and a $500 award. These students truly represent the best at Washburn Tech. The outstanding female student for 2016-2017 is Stacy Browers. Stacy is completing the practical nursing program. She made the decision to pursue a nursing degree after being a stay-at-home mother and special education para. Stacy is known for consistent hard work coupled with a compassionate, caring nature. Congratulations, Stacy. The other male recipient will be um, recognized at the 8 o'clock ceremony. Thank you, Dean Coco and Dr. Tetro, and congratulations to our students on their many accomplishments in 2016-17. At this time, I have the pleasure of introducing our president, Dr. Jerry Farley. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Congratulations to the students. You had a dream. You put, your, you put yourself in place to fulfill that dream at Washburn Tech. And now you are doing just that. You had to have a lot of courage, had to have a lot of discipline, had a lot of effort, a lot of work going in to your education so that you would be here tonight. Now, much of that is a result of your own efforts, what you can do when you put your mind to it. But a number of other people helped you get here tonight. You have family, you have friends, you have fellow students, you have faculty members, all of whom want you to succeed. They want you to achieve your very best. They want you to be able to fulfill that dream that you have. Now, maybe you don't even remember when you first had this dream. Perhaps it was some time ago. Perhaps it was more recent. But you focused on that, and you kept working. You kept adding to your storehouse of knowledge. 
until you arrived here tonight. Now, I hope this is not the end of your dream. I hope that you pursue your education in whatever way you want to from this point forward. Because if you're going to succeed, you must continue to learn all of your life. You may think this is the end of schooling. It likely is not. Because you must continue to apply yourself and learn new things. Because there are a lot of other people that are in the world that would love to have what you have. You have an opportunity that 95% of the rest of the world will never have. You've got an opportunity to pursue your education and to succeed in your chosen field of study. And most other people around the globe would never have that opportunity. Now you must take advantage of that. People in this room and you yourself have expectations. You must now take responsibility to fulfill those expectations. People have invested in you. Citizens have invested in you. And they will be looking to you now to pay a return on that investment. I have no doubt that you can't do that. You can do it. You have demonstrated that you have the willpower, that you have the discipline to earn this education, and you will continue to do that into the future. We're very proud of you. We know that all the family and friends that are here tonight are extremely proud of you. We want you to have great success in your lives. And I hope that you remember a part of that success stemmed from your commitment to get an education and to attend Washburn Tech. Congratulations. We're proud of you. Thanks for being out here tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Farley. We shall now proceed to the conferring of degrees. We ask that parents, relatives, and friends use one of the areas in front to the right or left of the stage designated for taking photographs so not to obstruct the graduates or the professional photographers. Degree candidates will be presented by Dean Coco. Will all candidates for the technical certificate or associate degree please rise? All graduates, please rise. All graduates, thank you. President Farley, those before you and in Estancia are candidates for the technical certificate or the associate or applied science degree. I am pleased to present to you now for the conferring of their degrees and certificates, those who have completed the requirements and have been recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dean. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, we hereby confer upon those who have completed the requirements the appropriate certificate or degree with all the rights, the privileges, and the responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please, Please be seated. Be seated. Today we've been part of a graduation exercise for Washburn Tech's 38 programs. We are proud to welcome 600 certificate and associate degree graduates as new alumni to Washburn Institute of Technology. Associate of Applied Science and Advanced Systems Technology Donald G. Fortin. <laughs> Advanced Systems Technology instructors Chaz Havens, David Peralta, and Dennis Mergenmeyer. <laughs> 
Wyatt James Albert. Benjamin Reed Coltis. Michael Evans. Aaron Tyler Graham. Christian Michael Haverkamp. John M. Her, National Technical Honor Society. Josiah W. Jackson, National Technical Honor Society. William Allen Johnson. Brian Joseph Kelly. Tanner Lee Kenny. Nicholas P. Letty. Jarrett Long. Tanner C. McGee. Eric Jeffrey Weininger, National Technical Honor Society. Emergency Communications Dispatch, Instructor Don Fry. Carly Nicole Howard. Maxwell Morrow. Bradley Dean Netherton. Valerie Nuri. Michelle M. Rayburn. Michelle Lynn Willis. Emergency Medical Technology Instructor Wayne Hollis. Robert Jean Vincent. Cody Allen Short. Nicholas James Timish. Dawson Cade Gatzmeyer. Tegan James Hammer. Hunter Lee Claxton. Shelby Mays Moten. Skills USA first and second place. Cody M. Killian. Cody M. Killian. Sean S. Rewerts. Malcolm James Gillum. Ethan Lewis William Figs. Joy Matchy.
Matthew R. Sutton. Dylan James Tubach. John T. Payne. Gloria Ann Miller. Robbie J. Hade. Kiara Anderson. Lawrence Timothy Lair, Jr. Cassie Lee Dewey. Healthcare Technology Instructors Catherine Star Stockman Joanne Walker and Barb Schaefer. <coughs> Sydney Lee Adami. <laughs> Esmeralda D. Ariola Vigil. <laughs> Lucy Eden Barker. Ashlyn Noel Bartling. Michaela L. Benson. Gavin J. Brandenburg. Hannah Marie Broyles. Kiera M. Bryant. Andrea Renee Bryant. Riley D. Burris. Tamira Monique Carter. Veronica Seja Paredes. Mackenzie Renee Shure. Crystal Nicole Coffey. Grace Elizabeth Coffin. Jules Taylor Kraus. Hunter J. Dean. Kaylin. Danae Duray Campui. Marissa Andrea Filia. Jessica Ophelia Maria Gonzalez. Erica Faith Hazelwood. Patricia Hernandez Lopez.
Lindsay Ray Keller. Justice M. Knoll. Brittany Lopez. Maddie Patricia Mulder. Carla Marquez Munoz. Unique Murray. Samantha Jordan Nations. Madison Ray Porter. Emily Renee Price. Sydney Lee Perney. Linda S. Riceley. Kenya Simone Robinson. Haley Renee Retchen. Kelsey Mariah Shook. Aaron Ashley Smith. Rachel Jean Smith. Carolina Sabelle Solis. Lauren Elizabeth Steves. Kendra R. Suit. Aliyah L. Tobine. Justasia Michael Wright. Fast Track Machine Tool Technology Instructor Richard Anderson. Tanner James Allen. Eli Marshall Coulter. Willie D. Evans. Blake A. Pearson. Student government member. James J. A. Rodriguez Metz. Machine Tool Technology Instructor Dale Schaefer. William L. Brown the second. Morgan William Chestnut. Noah Michael Ensley. Brandon Benjamin Hart. Tucker Lee Hervey. Anna, 
Amos Sahen Ingalls. Colton Levi Kirkwood, National Technical Honor Society. Garrett L. Schultz. Sheridan R. Wilt. Wyatt J. Winter. Next up, we have phlebotomy instructor Kimberly Young. Allison Nicole Barr. Cecilia Castillo. Chase A. Cridor. Lindsay Foster. Carly Elaine Frisbee. William Lyon Grant. Lande Manche. Lenora Marie Kripe. Victoria Wakpuda. Ellery Quinn Brock Plummer. Andrea M. Shepherd. Emily Sordon. Danielle B. Van Blerken. <laughs> Jesse Ruth White. <laughs> Alyssa Lee Y. Next up is practical nursing. The instructors are Drody Greenfield, Kathy Hammond, Kim Lambertson, Ashley Tyler, Nicole Wade, and Belinda Eckert. Jenny Allen. Adriana and Aaron Sebia, National Technical Honor Society. Mary Zareda Ash, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Tiffany Michelle Badger. Patricia N. Bartlett, Skills USA, first place medalist, National Technical Honor Society. Stacy M. Brewer, Skills USA, first and second place medalist, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Teresa Joe Brown.
Anita Ray Chase, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Jessica R. Clark, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Shelly D. Finn, Skills USA, first place medalist, National Technical Honor Society. Lisa Marie Fleurlog, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Lindsay Charlene Fry, Skills USA, first and third place medalist, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Melody Rose Griffith, National Technical Honor Society. Lydia Rochelle Harmon. Lydia Rachel Harmon. Passion Brewan Hendricks. Catherine Victoria Louise Hurtline, National Technical Honor Society. Miranda L. Hill. Cassandra Kennedy. Hannah E. Hutchison. Gerald Bryce Kimmel. Deirdre Marie Kosmicki. <laughs> Lauren F. McNary, Skills USA, first place medalist, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Janera Sue Narsh, National Technical Honor Society. Amanda Elizabeth Nelson. Cindy I. Parks. <laughs> Tiffany N. Naylor. Timely M. Starkey. Erica N. Sutton. Cassidy Ann Sweet. Jessica Marie Euler. Tara Nicole Walker. Tiana S. Ware. Amy C. Weber, National Technical Honor Society. Carol R. Williams, National Technical Honor Society. Rebecca P. Wood. Next up, we have surgical technology. Instructor Christy Mick.
Keely and Marie Arbuckle. Amber Rochelle Bajarnison, National Technical Honor Society. Nicole Haas, National Technical Honor Society. Joshua J. Hothen. Chesney Anaya Hunter, National Technical Honor Society. Elijah Gabriel Jimerson. Heather Dawn Limke, National Technical Honor Society. Tori and Marnie, National Technical Honor Society. <laughs> Wesley Michael McDonough, National Technical Honor Society. Rachel M. Nyman, National Technical Honor Society. Ariel Elizabeth Reeser. Lynn Marie Rothwell. Nicole D. Wagner. Next up is Fast Track Welding instructors Lester Green, Jordan Rothstich, and Jonathan Rothstich. <laughs> Stephen E. Alfrey, AWS 1G certification. Jesse Barker, AWS 1G certification. Derek Bochamp. Derek M. Bentley. Blake Tyler Berillion. Devaney Blair, AWS 3G certification. Blake Ryan Clark. <laughs> Jacob John Cole, AWS 1G certification and AWS 3G certification. <laughs> Shania Alexis Edmonds, AWS 1G certification. Kerry A. Fries, AWS 1G certification. Theron E. Frost, AWS 1G certification. Lucas M. Greer, AWS 1G certification. Marcus Allen Guerrero, AWS 1G certification. <laughs> Travis J. Johnson, AWS 3G certification. Kaler, got it. <laughs> Sean James Kaler, Skills USA first place medalist, AWS 3G certification.
Bailey Nicole Martin, Skills USA third place medalist, AWS 1G certification. Eric McCracken, AWS 1G certification. Timothy James Osborne, AWS 1G certification. Tanner Ray Page, AWS 1G certification. David E. Poor Jr., AWS 1G certification. Garrett Paul Richard, AWS 1G certification. Casey Roma. Tanem Segrist, AWS 3G certification. Devin Allen Tinoco. Dalton J.W. Wagner, AWS 1G certification. Justin Wolfcool, AWS 1G certification. Next up, we have welding instructors Daniel Stump and Nicholas Hunter. You knew I needed the help. Donald W. Barons Jr. Tyler Keith Cheney. Chelsea L. Davis, Skills USA, second place medalist. Josie Ann Fennell. Justin Matthew Graham. Cole Scott Hawkins, Skills USA, second place medalist. Corey Leslie James. Reed Lane Johnson, Skills USA, second place medalist. Jack D. Lawrence. Ty Martin. Andrew S. Martinez, Skills USA, second place medalist. Trevor James McMullen. Jordan James Mosey. Eric L. Newman. Trevor F. Shacker. Jared Fisher Steven. Wyatt James Troop, Skills USA second place medalist, student government treasurer. Wyatt Clayton Tummins. Jesse K. Walbridge. Carrie Sean Wathen the third.
would be great. Well, once again, today you've been part of a graduation exercise from Washburn Tech, 38 programs. We are proud to welcome 600 certificate and associate degree graduates as new alumni to Washburn Institute of Technology. Please join me in recognizing these impressive individuals for their accomplishments by offering them a round of applause. Thank you. Okay, before concluding the ceremony, graduates, I would like to underscore that this is a moment of transition. You entered Lee Arena as the final step in completing your time as a Washburn Tech student, and as you leave today, you begin your exciting future by joining thousands of proud Washburn University alumni. In that regard, it is now my pleasure to introduce Mike Mustaine, president of the Washburn University Alumni Association Board of Directors. Thank you, Dr. Mazichek. On behalf of more than 43,000 Washburn alumni, I congratulate you on your great accomplishment. You're joining alumni from across the nation and around the world who all have the same thing in common with you and me. We are all Ichabods, and like them, you have developed a permanent and lasting relationship with Washburn, and your continued involvement will help shape this university for generations of Ichabods who will follow in your footsteps. Throughout the rest of your life, the Alumni Association will continue to keep you connected to Washburn and your classmates. Take with you the packet of information on your chair, it is our gift to you and includes, among other things, a complimentary one-year membership in the Alumni Association. Being a member of the Alumni Association is all the fun of college, and this is important, without homework and tests. <laughs> Don't be afraid to get involved. We want you to be part of the fun. Your fellow Ichabod alumni will welcome you with open arms, we wish you happiness, good health, and prosperity. Congratulations. We have only one more very important activity to do before you leave today. So will all the graduates please rise? Okay, I want you to make sure that your tassel is on the right side of your cap. Okay, congratulations graduates. As a symbol of your great achievement, please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I present to you the spring 2017 graduating class of Washburn Institute of Technology. Yeah.